place your foot on here. Do you want to learn how to jazz up your bedroom and make your bed more inviting to go into? Well, I'm going to show you how you can do that by teaching you some towel folds. We'll be doing three different types of towel folds. We're going to start off by doing a puppy or a dog, whichever one you want to call it. First, we have a bath towel and we open the bath towel like this. We identify the center of the bath towel and we are going to fold the ends inward towards the center. So we fold towards the center. Once you have folded the ends towards the center, then we are going to start rolling again from this end towards the center again. this and the other end we do the same like this once it's like this turn over and then we're going to take one end fold towards the other end and we're going to open the bottom end a little bit and take this top to lap over the front so it looks like this and that's the body of the dog we're going to set this aside work on the head of the dog. We get a hand towel now we are going to fold from one end and fold in towards the center like that the other end in towards the center like this it should look like a triangle Having done that, right at the point, you're going to fold towards the center and then fold again towards the end, like this. Having done that, you're now going to turn both ends in towards the center, turn in towards the center. And you end up with this. Now these are the ears of the dog and you're going to turn them over just a little so they hang towards the face like this. Now we set the head down and we're going to take the body and we're going to place the head on the body like this. Try until it's centered. Now we accessorize to make the character look a little more like a dog by adding eyes, nose and tongue. So we have the eyes here use double back tape so that it stays in place like that now for the nose you can 
use a piece of cartridge paper to shape like a nose, cut it out like this, and you put it along the face like that. Then we're going to place the tongue in just as though the dog or the puppy is panting. Like that. There. And we have here our character dog that you can place on your bed. If you have a child who loves dogs, or a family relative who's coming to visit and likes dogs then this could be the fabulous surprise for them when they get into the bedroom now we're going to the next feature which we're going to do a swan Have our bath towel again open it out like this once it's open we are going to be identifying the center from the center at one point place your finger and at the other point you're going to pull and roll Roll it as tight as possible so you can keep the shape of the animal or the character. Once it gets to the center, you're going to use your other hand to pull and at the other end, you will pull and turn. Try to make it as firm as possible and roll towards the center. You end up with this figure here. Now, having done that, you're going to turn the towel over like this and then pull backwards, hold in place a couple of seconds just to keep the shape and then you turn the end, use the tip of the towel, curve it around to get the shape of the swan's head. And that is the swan. Now, to add a bit of interest, you can also add eyes. Now for our final character, we're going to be doing balance and seal. The formation of this character is a bit similar to that of the swan. So you identify the center of the towel. Put your finger right there and at the end you pull and roll. Try to make it as firm as possible.
then you use your other hand towards the center, as firm as possible. Work with it a bit so that it is So you end up with this just as you did this one. Now, because the seal, the mouth of the seal is shaped a little, you need to turn this in from the end about three to four inches and tuck inside the fold. Like that. Having done that, I'm going to turn over and we're going to pull backwards. Hold it a couple seconds, press to keep the shape, the form, and then allow it. Now, because these will become the black flippers, you can turn them out a little, like this. And then we're going to leave the front flippers. Using a hand towel, make a triangle from the center. You're going to bring it all the way across to the end, like this. Then, you're going to fold inwards, like this. And these become the front flippers of the seal. Having made that, then the body of the seal goes and sits right on top there. Now we need to accessorize. So, we put eyes in. And we're using pipe cleaners to represent the whiskers of the seal. Put that on top. Like so. And you get a ball. Any color, but preferably lightweight. And we use clear double tape on it to hold it down. And we hold it down like this. And there is your seal balancing a ball. So for your children or family members who may enjoy sea animals, this would be perfect for their bedroom. All right. Just get it balanced a little. So, here we have our seal, we 
for a cute puppy. And our swan. Take some time out to try and practice making your various characters out of towels. It's very fun. It's fairly easy to do and you, I'm sure that your guests or your family members will enjoy having these lovely characters inviting them in when they get home. Thank you again, I'm Alicia Fulton. For further information on these video tutorials, contact the Jamaica Forage Clubs at 95 Old Hope Road, Kingston 6 or call us at 927-4050-22. You can also view these tutorials on our website at www.jamaicaforageclubs.com. Thank you for watching and continue to make your best better.